Liver angiosarcoma is rare tumor of the liver, which is rare, but highly fatal. Liver angiosarcoma arises from liver blood vessels. It is third most common primary liver cancer, meaning it arises from liver directly. Liver angiosarcoma has very non-specific and vague symptoms. So, you cannot suspect liver angiosarcoma based only symptoms. Most common symptoms are abdominal pain and abdominal distension. Abdominal distension occurs when substances, air, fluid, or mass accumulates in the body and causes its expansion. Weight loss, fatigue fever, malaise, anorexia and vomiting can also occur. But these symptoms are not specific for liver angiosarcoma. Paradoxically, liver function is generally maintained until the final stages of the disease, further complicating diagnosis. Liver angiosarcoma is very rare disease, but it can affect to anyone, including children. But most commonly it affects 60 to 70 years old males. Liver angiosarcoma has several important complications. Most fatal complication is tumor rupture and intra-abdominal bleeding. It can be fatal in many cases. Liver angiosarcoma can metastasis to spleen and cause spleen rupture also. Liver angiosarcoma may also result in liver failure, a potentially fatal complication. Like many cancers, liver angiosarcoma can also cause disseminated intravascular coagulation, DIC. Causes? In most cases no known cause identified. Exposure to vinyl chloride, arsenic, thorotrust, radium, phenylhydrazine and use of androgens is known as risk factors for liver angiosarcoma. In some cases liver angiosarcoma can be associated with hemochromatosis, iron overload, and neurofibromatosis. CD31 is considered the most reliable tumor marker for liver angiosarcoma. Treatment Complete surgical resection combined with adjuvant chemotherapy is considered to be the most effective treatment of liver angiosarcoma. Transcather arterial embolization, TAE, blocking an artery with the help of a catheter to prevent further bleeding or limit blood supply to the tumor. Prognosis? Liver angiosarcoma is aggressive and have high recurrence rate. Most patients will die within six months. Two-year survival is only 3%.